So you've heard of Generation X and Generation Y. You've heard of Millennials and Baby Boomers. Now let me introduce you to Generation Porn. As the name suggests, we have a generation who are now growing up with often unrestricted access to adult porn material for free. Pioneering new rules were due to come into play this month to make sure porn sites check their users are aged over 18, but there is a flaw in the plan. This age verification doesn't extend to Google or social media sites. And given that over half of primary school children are now accessing social media sites and children as young as 11 are regularly viewing porn on these sites, it's clear we've got a problem. Parents, gone are the days of a couple of dogged porn magazines doing the rounds. Mm. Your children now have free and regular access to intense porn scenes at the click of a button. They are, they are exposed to what the porn world views as normal when it comes to sex, consent and relationship. Mm. And the damage that that can do to young minds should not be underestimated. We need to make sure that generation porn becomes generation monitored, generation educated and generation protected. Michelle, absolutely spot on. Um, I can't disagree with anything you just said there. Um, I think this is really serious. And, and if you look at it, I don't think that our government is looking at this as seriously as they should do. Mm -hmm. In the sense that we know that we would not in any way want children of this age group participating in any of the sorts of events that happen on those videos. So therefore, why don't we see it as equally as dangerous for them to be watching that? Mm -hmm. in terms of how it over-sexualizes children. Mm -hmm. And we won't really know what the ramifications of this stuff is until generation porn um, become up. adults. Um, I have a friend called Cindy Gallup that does a lot of work in this space called Make Love Not Porn. And this is something that she flagged up about five, mm -hmm. five years ago or so as, as something that we all should be worrying about. And back to what you were saying about porn becoming the sort of the normal idea for sex. The stats suggest that 53% of 11 to 16 year old boys see porn as a realistic depiction of sex. Again, what that means for girls in itself is frightening. It's Actually, boring. I feel what's this, and this is, this is, this, when I read this quote, it frightens the tripe out of me. This is a woman called Shine Louise Houston. She's an adult filmmaker. She says, I wish that people would just consider porn just another film genre, because that's what it is. But there's this weird thing that happens with porn, that somehow people can't totally switch off their suspension of disbelief. And I think that's partly marketing. Mm. Uh, and that, oh, that's real, but it's not. It's, it's film, it's an illusion. When you have that kind of attitude, it's no wonder that the relevant steps aren't being taken yeah. to stop it. But, you know, I, I think that you know, you're talk, we're talking about porn, but it's a, it's a much wider wider argument isn't it, with smartphone addiction. Um, you know, the kids now are becoming addicted to, 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 to their, their smartphones. Devices, yeah. and, and anyway, you know, it was supposed to make communication easier. Paradoxically, it's made mm, it worse yes. in that no one talks to each other anymore. You know, a kid, you know, kid this, this, this social... What do you want? What? It's a bit of an exaggeration. It's not, it's it's not it's a bit of an exaggeration. It's not. The it's stats true, will show this Greg. is. You well, know, but nobody it, talks to anybody else. Well, the young people kids communicate less, actually. Yes, much. Yeah. Yes. Well, hang on. They communicate, but in a different way. But so yes, they don't but verbally. They don't but talk. you cannot yes. compare they, the two. No. I mean, in I, the, terms of human development, in terms of social th intelligence, the interaction, I real life interaction away, can't... We might be running away yeah. with generalisations to no. a degree. But, but, no. I mean, what, is, what is clear is social media has, has been largely unregulated sure. in yeah. the years since it came. And it's the wild west. And it cannot continue. No. And therefore, the next 20 years is all about regulation and how do you do it, mm -hmm. I think, in all sorts of areas of social media. Uh, uh, social media, but particularly in, in terms of well, they're talking uh, porn. about this porn block. Do you know about this porn? Yes. I, I read it, it in the notes. How does Twitter. it? How does it work? Yeah. So, so the way it is, and by the way, it's worth saying it's supposed to be coming out on the fifteenth of July, and it's yeah. been delayed again for the second Why? time due to what they're calling administrative problems. But so how does it work? What, God only knows what that means. Do? So, what they do is, if you're a, a commercial or a, a generalised porn site, before you get, so when someone comes to your website, you've now got to have a landing page that has static content, so you're not immediately landing on. Porn 
home Sex. videos. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. So that's the first okay. thing. Okay. The second thing is then you've got to verify that your user is aged over the age of 18. And there's a few different ways of doing that. So you can do a check based on credit cards, passports, or things like SMS onto your phone. You can go down to the high street and buy like oh, a, an age verified before. voucher yeah. that you can then um, apply. And once you've verified your age once, but then, then it couldn't rolls you give that voucher? Anyone could get a voucher then. Of course they? you can. Yeah, Some but, of the weekends. But, but, but it just but makes it harder. But the key point here is that a lot of parents don't understand that to view porn, you don't have to go to a porn site anymore. No. Most children are watching porn on things like Twitter. And when you actually look at um, the history, the browsing history, and you look on Twitter, it's very hard to see what videos your children are watching. Okay. And all you've got to do is untick one thing. And this is why I want to make parents aware, because I'm astonished by how many parents don't even check their kid's smartphone and their history. That blows my mind. But you've got to be mindful of what... And there are no what... safeguards on Twitter. Yeah, no, you've yeah, got to be mindful all. of what your children are doing online, because for research purposes only, obviously... Of course. ...last night, I went onto Twitter... What a night you had. I know, oh, it, was, right. it was... Yeah, it was a great evening in New Yeah, old Wolfgang from Germany, he's still talking but about I, it. But I set up an account, <laughs> and all I did is said that I was 13, I unticked the, um, I unticked the thing to say I can see sensitive stuff, and the stuff that I oh saw, my it put hairs on my chest, and I'm a woman of the world. So can so I just go through your last 24 hours? You spent last night watching German porn, and this yeah. morning reading the dictionary on diplomacy. Yeah, it was, uh, You're I, living the dream, Michelle. Living the dream. There was an interesting stat, did you, I don't know if you saw it, but 75% of parents uh, say they are concerned about this. Really? Well, what you wonder is, what are the other 25%? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, all parents... I mean, I'm just forever grateful that my kids, who are now all From in their 30s, are a totally different generation. Mm. I think bringing up kids today is much, much tougher. Tougher. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, this porn block as well, the irony of the whole thing is that it will push kids towards streaming sites and the dark web, which which no one is controlling. That's true. It's easier for them to get onto, and that's the big criticism of this porn block, as well as the fact but that it's But the good thing with that, though, is if you're a parent, once you go onto the dark web, it does all sorts of things to your computer. Not that I would know, I've been told. And so if you're a parent and your kid is on the dark web, you will know that, if they're using the family laptop, for sure. But just, you, I would never let, I mean, I don't have children, so it's easy to sit here and pontificate what you wouldn't do, wouldn't do as a parent, but I can't imagine a scenario where I'd allow my child to be Unfettered tucked away access. upstairs yeah. on the yeah. smartphone doing you God only knows what. No, you won't know. That's what, that's what, that's 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 what children will put I'll on earth to do. I'll know if my kid's got a no, smartphone, because no. I'll be buying it, No, I'm children sure. will put on earth to do things they, you, their parents don't yeah. know about. Yeah, Come on, you be, did it, I did it, Greg did it, we all did it. You'll be buying their smartphone, and you'll know where it is. And they know how to clear their browsing history. My kids are going to wear baby grows until they're 16, they're not yeah. going to leave the house. They're not going to talk to people of the opposite sex. They're not going to browse. They're not going to talk to people of the opposite sex. No. Here, this is what Twitter say. We recognise that some people may not want to be exposed to sensitive content, which is why we balance allowing people to share this type of media with helping people who want to avoid it to do so. For this reason, you can't include violent, hateful or adult content within areas that are highly visible on Twitter. If you share this content within tweets, you need to mark your account as sensitive. Under this policy, there are also some types of sensitive media content that we don't allow at all because they have the potential to normalise violence and cause distress to those who view them. i tell you one thing, Michelle, reading again these background notes, you, you quite rightly highlight um, mm. um, teenagers. Bernardos are talking about children now, not in this area, but being so at the age of five yeah. getting hooked. Yeah. On yeah. The, at the age of five. And my primary concern, and I, all, I sound like a stuck record, but I really worry about what porn is doing to particularly boys. Oh, particularly? They get in their sex education oh from it yes. and their yes. expectations of girls. Well, then the girls, I would politely suggest it's probably worse for the girls. That's exactly the, what yeah. I said. They're expecting the girls yeah. to... Yeah. To, to do that, that exactly. Oh, also, just... I do think the other thing that we should worry about as well is the fact that most of the politicians are not tech savvy, no, so they true. don't understand how this stuff works. Apart so we from actually the ones need that watch more. Porn in their yeah, offices on the <laughs> computers, we won't go mean. there. <laughs> well, unless it's in Latin, Boris doesn't understand it really, <laughs> so it's you, never going to work. Do you it? think the point, the reason why it's all it's being postponed, is actually it's very difficult to do? I yeah. think so. Yeah, 